Okay, one of the unique custom ROMs called Palladium OS based on Android 12, not actually Android 12, but Android 12.1 is now back with those new interesting things in the UI. And this is what we have right now installed on our Mi Tool device, Redmi Note 9S Pro, Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro you can in install on this device. Redmi K20 Pro is compatible and maybe some other devices, the official website link is already available in the description. This is the Palladium version 2.1 which I am using right now and this room has very interesting unique kind of UI actually available. So if you want to try it out, you can link is in the description as I just mentioned. This is the quick settings panel which you have by default and it includes all the Android 12.1 features for you. For example, this internet tile pop up including those animations which you have in Android 12 L. Those same things are already available and a lot of custom tiles are also included in this one. Power menu has the advanced power menu option available for you even including the screenshot option which you have the available in the customization section if you move on and check it out. Moving on to the things which we have in the settings, uh, let's just take a look at the settings UI. Basically same, nothing new, nothing changed here. It's almost same here. It's not like Descendant OS, it's not like the Ancient OS which we will have an insane number of UI changes in the settings app. It's not like that but you have some features or some interesting UI changes in the Atomic Hub. Atomic Hub is where you have all the customizations and UI things and this is how it is looking like. In my opinion, I think it looks quite interesting. Maybe something unique which you are looking for. This is what we have Atomic Hub, some status bar customizations, UI theme, lock screen and miscellaneous. The thing is, it's the initial stable build based on Android 12.1. So yes, there are some few of customizations, only few of the customizations are there, not many. But some customizations include some status bar related options for you, like you can see heads up customizations. You have the signal indicator related customizations. You have the battery style related customizations and some bit more customizations here and there about the status bar ones. Including that, if you move on to the miscellaneous customizations, you have the haptic feedback related things, you have the playback control related options, you also have some volume panel related customizations and power menu related customizations everywhere where you can enable the advanced people to have the option to enable the screenshot option and something like that. So you have some UI related options too like media player and the quick settings panel which means some basic features, some basic customizations which you were looking for is already present here. Of course, not major customizations but minor are quite good. Of course, monet theming related options are also there. If you need wallpaper based theming, you enable this. If you don't want that, you can disable that option. It's also present here. So yes, Palladium OS 2.1 based on Android 12.1 might be a very good choice for you if you want to try it out on a device. As I just mentioned, if you want to install this thing, link is in the description. Official website link is in the description. If your device is supported for this, it's good. If your device does not have the official support, make sure to check out if your device has the unofficial support on XTA or Telegram. And if your device does not have any support for this one, you can try out GSI. So these are the things I just want to let you know. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.